So today I want to show you a fun technique you can experiment with, time stretching with Panther Cap. Panther Cap is a part of a collection I worked on with Path Set. You can see the little mushroom here, which is always nice. It's a granular looper and sampler. It has also built-in time stretching, but I want to show you today a different approach. Basically, time stretching is changing the playback speed of a loop, of a sample, of a recording without changing its pitch. So here I have a contact loaded with una corda, right? So I can play a few notes, a few piano notes, right? Just with my MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to quickly record a short loop. Right, something like this and already it will start looping again it's a granular looper and sampler right so this is the recording as i mentioned before if i zoom in a bit panther cap has built-in time stretching so the time control will only change the playback speed without changing the pitch right so if i start changing this making it slower according to the overlap, so how many grains and their size, you will get different results. Right, but I want to show you today a different way that you can approach time stretching with Panther Cap. And basically the controls we will use are the length and the start. So the length will change the length of the loop Right, and you can see this quite clearly here on the uh, little scope here. Right, and the start will change the starting point of the loop. Right, or the little section of the loop that we change now. Right, so if we change, if we set a smaller or a shorter length, right, we get something like this. And then if we start scanning through this recording with a start control, start getting basically time stretching, stretching the playback speed without changing the pitch. And this will change, of course, according to the length. I can play like this for hours. So anyway, now we get time stretching. Something you can do is of course modulate, start modulating things. And Panther Cap has built-in modulation also, randomization. In the right-click menu, you can choose where it will go. So if you choose, for example, only the starting point, right, you can start triggering a modulation to the starting point. Together with the slew, it will also move smoothly from one uh, point to another. But you can also use something like an LFO to really scan really scan through the uh, through the recording so if i use something like a saw wave let's say that i want to start somewhere here right i use something like a saw wave a unipolar saw wave and it will start scanning according to the frequency of course right and uh, the frequency of the lfo will change the playback speed Of course, as I mentioned also in the full video about Panther Cap, there are no clicks, no anything. It's smooth, it sounds great. Right, and again, with the length, we can also change this texture. Right, so if I use another LFO, let's say a triangle LFO to modulate the length, a 
get an interesting result. And again, in this case, I'm using a saw wave, so it will move forward and then jump back to the beginning. But if I use something like a triangle wave or a sine wave, it will also scan in reverse. And we have this really interesting first time stretch and of course again you can use any other shape you like to scan through this you can draw your own shapes which something like shape master for mind meld right and really create interesting textures and results and um, what I'm going to do is this I'm going to send this I know I don't do this a lot but I'm going to use reverb this time <laughs> Reverb is life. After all, this is of course Valhalla Supermassive, which is life by itself. Maybe a bit longer, why not? Right, and then I'm going to add some drums. So first of all, I'm going to sidechain this after the reverb, why not? With a kick drum that I'm going to show you in a second. This is Oppressor Pro from Flag, which is a compressor that is great for sidechaining. Right, as you can hear, and then I'm going to add some drums. I have here a kick, a closed hat, I have Prince of Perception, which is also a module I worked on this case with flag, a bass, and a nice uh, rhythm here. Right, maybe make the piano here a bit louder just for this example. Right now, if you want something a bit more repetitive, you can always um, sync or reset your LFOs in all sorts of ways. You can use dedicated uh, gate sequencers. I'm going to use a clock division of eight. Right, you can change the starting point to get something else. Right, and you get a really interesting texture. Again, there is also built-in time stretching if you want to experiment with it, but this is another way you can time stretch your loops and get all sorts of interesting texture. This works, textures, sorry. This works great with uh, acoustic instruments like pianos and stuff, but it can also work really nicely with synthesized drums and all sorts of different uh, found sound, field recordings and so on. And that's it. I hope you will go and experiment with it. There are links in the description uh, to where you can find uh, uh, this whole collection uh, to other videos, like the full video about Panther Cap. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Thank you.